Hello, everybody. I want to uh, make an. I want to make a very special video that you guys would be really interested in. Um, I went to a, um, a garage sale last last week um, from down the street. Um, I found these old uh, old spoons plus. Uh, this one right here, but I will give you guys a closer view of these spoons, but I will explain to you what all these spoons relate to, either to a certain event, a person, or porn year in our era for our U.S. history of, of the country. Um, some of the spoons relate to Chicago, and one relates to an important event that happened. They relate to events, basically. Um, basically, um, these are the spoons that I got when I went to that garage sale. I'm sorry about that. Um, these are the six spoons, but they were from the 1893 Columbia uh, Exposition in Chicago. And the fair was actually... Was was actually located in Jackson Park with the water. The theme was a water theme, like in Venice and stuff. Um, it commemorated the Columbus's landing in America for 400 years. It was supposed to happen in 1892, but it got delayed to 1893. But I'll show you these spoons that I got. But these used to be really dirty. Um, um, let's see if I can get a little close up here. Um, I might have to just do this. Um, let's see if I could get up close on this spoon. I can't see it real well. Okay, so... Um, as you can see, I can't really get real close up to these spoons. Come on, focus. Come on. Anyway, one of the spoons is basically from the agricultural building. Um, there we go. Okay, this is a spoon of the agricultural building, as you can see. Um... The company that made these is the Leward, um Company, but these are silver, and they still got tarnish left on it. This one is the um, Woman's Building, um, same style. This one is the Electric Building, as you can tell. Um, yeah, this is the Electric Building, as you can tell. Um, but that still has tarnish on it. Um, this one is basically the, the U.S. government building. Uh, you could probably see that really good. Um, sorry about the glare of the, on the building there, but this is the other one. This one is the... The Art Build Palace. Um, this is the building that was later changed. Uh, became part the only building that's left from the World's Fair, but it's now the um, Science and Industry Museum now. Um, and then this one is what I like. This is the most interesting one. The Administrative Building it is very, very. The very centerpiece looks like our capital in Washington. But I'll give you a closer look on this spoon. Um, this is the U.S. government building. This one is the electric building. Um, as you can see real closely on that. And that was the most important building because it produced electricity for the fair. This is the woman's bill, and this bill was dedicated to all the women 
in the history from that one. This is the agricultural building, basically on agricultural in the in our um, farming and stuff. They had different stuff. The garden building had some important stuff, like the stuff in our our navy, important military stuff that was in there. They that displayed the art palace, basically housed the different arts, different kind of arts from different countries and stuff displayed all kinds of artwork. Very interesting. The administrative building was basically the building that had um, important information you, they, they, that people wanted to know about the fair, like a maps or stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. So, they still got tarnish left on them, but yeah. Um... Anyway, it only lasted for a year, and then they took, they tore all the built, no, actually in the winter of 1894, the fire actually caused the buildings to catch on fire, and they were basically made of wood and steel, they weren't made to last, the only building that's still around is that, that, the built, that, one of that's called the Science and Industry Museum, Kim Museum in 1933 in Chicago, um, and the little, um, and the only other thing that's left, um, is the, the Japanese garden that still sits in the same spot, but during World War II, and, uh, Jap J Japan actually gave it to Chicago as a gift at, after the fair was over with, and then the night, and then during World War II, a bunch of arsonists just burned the buildings, the Japanese buildings down, so... The shrunken garden in that, but then there's a replica of the Statue of the Republic. Uh, it would have been bigger at the fair, but that would that was actually in the river where um, everything was at, and there was a lot. The, the 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 fair was lit up with lights, beautiful lights, and uh, and William Howard. I mean. Um, uh, Grover Cleveland was the guy that that turned the lights on for the start of the fair, and he it was it was the most spectacular fair ever. It was like the Roman palaces, Roman architecture of its time in in the twentieth century, and there were all these different nationalities and countries that were there. Uh, I can just name all of them, but there's a lot to name. Basically, on the they had food, they had things that they they sold from different countries and like clothing, textiles, um, art, um, animal skins, um, elect electrical stuff, and some amazing stuff and. If it's too bad that that that's all behind us, you know, that's important history. We might we might have another world's fair someday, you know. We just don't know for sure. You know, history will probably repeat itself. But anyway, that's a little bit about the Columbia Exposition. Another fair that Chicago did in the nineteen thirties, but it was very important to them, but it is called the 1933 Chicago World's Fair Century of Progress, which commemorates Chicago's 100th anniversary of, of, um, let me just try to do this, um, 100th anniversary of when they had their city found in 1833, they did it for, for one year from 1933 to 34. And that woman it says, I will, Century of Progress, uh, it says Chicago on it, on the spoon here. I'm sorry about this bad lighting I got. Okay. Um, don't know if you could read this, but... Yeah, 
I guess I might have to. Hold on a minute. I'll just figure this out. Um, let me see. Let me look. Um, so basically, it says. Uh, um, I know you can't see it real good, but it does say uh, Chicago there, right in that light. It's I'm sure you guys can um, uh, clearly see that. It says Chicago on it. And this uh, this is the build the administrative building here. Um, as you can tell, yeah, this is the administrative building, uh, one of the main buildings. But this actually came in the set with other ones. But I don't have the complete set. Just like the World's Columbia Exposition, they made I think I think there were fourteen spoons or eleven, but they they're based on the fourteen buildings that they did. Um, one was called the Transportation Building, the other one was the Horticulture Building, the other one was called the, um, oh, I can't remember the other ones, um, it was called the, the, I just don't remember, there were 14 buildings, that's all I can know, but, and this is the other one, um, this is probably made out of, this says right here, 1933 Chicago. Um, official 1933, the, excuse me, sorry. Um, as you could tell, um, mm, sorry, bear with me. This is, this phone is really uh, aggravating me. It's an old phone. Sorry. <laughs> bear with me. Um, Ah, oh, man, this is so aggravating. Okay, here we go. It says here, a Century of Progress, 1933 Chicago. Um, if you could see that, but... Oh, oh man, okay. Um... Uh, this phone is so aggravating. Um, okay, it says Century of Progress, 1933, official Chicago. Um, it was to commemorate everything that they'd done. They, all the future stuff and what would happen today, like the future house, um, the future cars, the... Um, all the te all this technological stuff that they came up with these advancements and they had a lot of very interesting stuff. Also, different countries again as well from the eighteen ninety three Chicago Columbia World's Fair. Um, I have another thing that's from the World's Fair. It's uh, this coin I got. I cleaned this one. It was bronze. A century prize from 1833 to 1933 Chicago. This coin just has the good luck coin. Take me for good luck. I cleaned this really good. It's very shiny. Um, um, I got a few more things from the World's Fair of Chicago that I'd like to show you guys. Um, let me go and get them really quick. Um, uh, that's all covered up with stuff, but oh, actually, one of them is a tray from the Ford's. Um, there's a tray for the Ford's building from 933. I can't show you that because I had stuff on top of it. And the other thing that I have is some nine, some tickets from the World's Fair, um, but they're actually in my closet. But. Anyway, that that basically wraps up what I did find. Um, I did find some other cool stuff, but not as cool as this stuff that I got. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the history of um, what I gave you guys about the 1893 World's Fair uh, Columbia Exposition, and then um, and then the 1933. Um, World's Fair, um, 
1903 fair in Chicago, Comet Harvard versus Chicago. Um, last year, I only turned 100 years old. Um, they started, they were founded in 1818 on December. I don't know, I think it was the 7th, I can't remember. Oh, one more thing. I have one more spoon, but it doesn't correlate to any of the other spoons. But um, this is actually about um, the battleship Maine. Um, this is the captain. It's basically called the the U.S. Battleship Maine. It was a ship that was, was actually in port in Havana Harbor. It was destroyed February 15th, 1898. Um, but the guy that was the captain of it was, uh, if I could read his name, Captain, uh, let me see, I can't, I can't see him. Captain uh, C.J. Zigby, um, United States Navy, he was in. Uh, this company made this one uh, standard, and he actually survived the, the crash, basically, the, the explosion, basically. Uh, something blew it up, and it caused the Spanish-American War to start um, with Theodore Roosevelt and his Rough Riders. Um, I think it lasted either two or three years, and it finally ended after that. Um, but I know that doesn't correlate to what I was talking about, about the fairs. Um, but actually, the fairs actually originated in Europe. That's where they first started. And eventually it got spread around the world. And eventually it came to America. Um, how the, the Columbia Exhibition Fair started was... They, they had two cities, biggest cities in the world, they had to decide where to do it. Either New York City or Chicago. And I guess the uh, U.S. government overruled, they, they chose Chicago on, uh, it was on March 1st, 1890. And like I said, it took like at least a year or a couple of years for the whole fairgrounds to be done by the start of the fair start on May 1st, 1893, when it was first started. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed all the information I gave you. Um, please like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Alright, have a good day. Bye.